Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a whole bunch of new products to play around with, including a very fun, vibrant, bright palette that I picked up from Gourmand Girls, which I have never tried one of their palettes before. So this is a first for me and we will talk about it in the video. Now you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. But if you want to see how I got this look, what products I used, and what this palette looks like, just keep watching. Okay, I have a bunch of new products in front of me, but one of the things I am so excited for and it is so colorful. I'm excited to swatch it. This is the Gourmand Girls Nueva Vida palette. I saw this on Instagram and I was like, okay, I need that. It's so bright and colorful. Look how vibrant and just the neon shades. I'm so excited to play around with this. I'm not sure if I want to do like this burgundy, like purpley shade. Do I want to do the lavender and the violet with a pop of neon? I have no idea what I want to do. I know I want to swatch these, see what shimmer I want to use, and then I'll do my the rest of my eyeshadows around it. But I was looking at this and I'm like, okay, I'm going to have fun with this. And I feel like this is the perfect release going into spring when you do the bright, fun neon shades and even some of the pastels. Cause you have Dreamer, which is a pastel purple. You have the pastel blue. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me go ahead and swatch these. I am so excited to see. I've never tried Gourmand Girls before and I just, mm, I want to see what it's all about. There are some really cute pressings now I want to say this is a collab. I need to do some more digging on it, but I'm looking at some of the pressings. There is a ribbon for breast cancer awareness. The shade name is Aurora, but let me look real quick. Okay, you guys, I got a couple details um, about this palette and it is a collaboration with Steph's Beauty Stash who is on YouTube. I will link her down below including the video where she talks about this palette because it is her her first collaboration. So Aurora is for her mom who is a two times breast cancer survivor. Now these swatches oh my goodness there are so many beautiful shades I don't know which shimmer I want to use. The shade Blessed is a gorgeous duochrome of purple to kind of like a tealy blue. And it is absolutely stunning, but so is the shade Vacay All Day. That shimmer, it looks green or like a teal in the pan, but then it has teal to kind of like a pinky shift with the glitter. The glitter particles are absolutely gorgeous in the swatch. The hot pink shimmer, New Life, which is what Nueva Vida means in Spanish is absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's different tones of pink, but very much a hot pink shimmer, which I love. I'm looking at these shades and I am torn because there's two shimmers I really want to use today. I'm going to go ahead, wipe these off my arm, prime my eyes and see if I can figure out a way forward for this look. Okay. The eyes are primed and I, I have a way forward. I'm going to start out with the shade Dreamer. I'm really hoping with a fluffy crease brush, putting it in the crease in the outer V will give us a good start. Okay, there is a little bit of kick up in the pan. That's not a big deal. Sometimes shades can be a little bit messy, but it also means that I'm getting some of that color on the brush and sometimes if you have a shade that is too hard panned it just takes forever to build the shade to even get it to stay on the brush and do what you want it to do so i'm not upset that there's kick up some people it's no go for them so you know i like to say if there's kick up but i don't see a big deal with it getting a good build. I 
think I'm going to bring it up a little bit more just because I'm going to use the deeper purple shade and I don't want it to make this one disappear. Now into the shade Dr. Farr. So she did in her video talk about why all the shades are named the way they are. So if you're interested in that information, like I said, I'm gonna link her down below. Go check out her channel. I had never seen her channel before. I did subscribe because now I'm very intrigued and I wanna see more of her videos. But if you're interested, go check her out. All right, so I'm going to use my compacted smudge brush to build up that shade. I'm gonna pack it on first and then blend it out. Oh, that is pretty. So some of the matte shades just, when I went to go swatch them, they would go where I put them and then when I dragged them out, they didn't necessarily drag with my finger. That doesn't necessarily mean that the shades aren't gonna perform. Some shades just don't swatch well. But the shimmers were beautiful. I also think we're going to do a pop of neon in the inner corner. I just haven't decided which one yet. Okay, I like this shade, but it's doing something weird. I don't, I don't know. So I don't know if you can see, like right here where I've placed it and then I've started to blend it out, it's getting a little bit lighter. And then it's even packing it on and trying to like smooth it out. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna pack it on again and see if it stays that beautiful purple shade. It's just, it's weird. Do you, do you see what I'm seeing where it's purple and then it's like a lighter shade? It, it's... No, see, I still see that line right there. If you have this palette, I would like to know what your thoughts are. Are you having similar issues with that shade? It's weird because it's it's deeper here, it's light here, and then it's deeper here. And I'm using my P. Louise base, the one that I always use. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me. Let me know your thoughts. Because I'm noticing it's still pur like deep purple here, deep here, and then lighter here. Are you guys seeing it too? We'll just leave it because there is a shimmer I want to play with and we'll try it out. All right, I'm going to go into the shade Vacay All Day. This beautiful teal that looked like it had like pink and purple glitter. I'm going to pick that up on my ring finger. Ooh, look how beautiful. It just looks so wet and it looks like water. Put this all over the eye. I think it's going to pull some of the purple through and I'm okay with that. Oh, that is beautiful. So I'm not too upset with where I thought that the purple was looking a little bit darker because I covered it with shimmer. It's okay. Sometimes eyeshadows do weird things. And I always deepen this up anyways so I'm not too bothered by it okay you guys I did prep my skin with my primer anything that I don't discuss is linked down below with clickable links so if you're interested in what I'm using I'm 39 years old I have wrinkles I have creasy under eyes and my skin is predominantly oil uh oily <laughs> So we are trying out this new foundation. I love the concealer that they've had in the past, which is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This concealer has been around for years and I re-picked it up in a new shade. 
but they have the instant age rewind eraser treatment makeup this is their foundation with goji berry and collagen it also has an spf in it this is in shade 150 but just like the concealer it has the twist up top i've been sitting here twisting this forever but it does have the sponge on it just like it does on the concealer it it's messy it can get messy so Okay, it's, we're starting to get there. It takes a little bit, but I also like the fact that once you're twisting, it's pushing the product down and then there's, in the center, which you can't see, there is a tube that is pushing it up through into the sponge. So it's not gonna waste product. One, the one that I had before that was a lighter shade, and you can kind of see it right now, where it's starting to push down on the product. Um, I, was, I was like that close to being done with it. I was like, it's not worth it. It was too light of a shade. So I'm really hoping this is the right shade. We're, we're starting to get there. Okay, it looks like it might be. I, I did get a lot of product out, so I'm gonna see how far this goes. That's actually going pretty far. I'll do half of my face just so we have a comparison. That actually, it, it did a pretty good amount of my face. I might have to do a little bit more just to like even it out or there is some redness that's coming through although I am going to use a blush so do I need to cover my redness here? Have you guys tried this? Okay. But it looks like it's the right shade. It looks like it matches. And drugstore, it's hard because you don't have the samples to try. Even at Ulta, I think they took the samples of drugstore makeup off their shelves. I wanna say up until a couple years ago, they still had samples. And when I worked at, I'm dating myself. When I was in high school, I worked at Kmart and our aisles in the makeup aisle were horrendous. You would see, and we didn't have samples. Did we? I can't remember. We might have, but we would have like foundation smeared everywhere. Whether it was a sample or not, people opened them and it's just oh, gross. I was thankful when I got put in the jewelry section of Kmart and I worked, would work the jewelry counter like during Thanksgiving and all that and holiday shopping. I did not want to be in the makeup area. Either the cash register or the jewelry counter. I was thankful for that. All right, so I feel like I'm getting a pretty good coverage. Don't forget to like get in here into your eye sockets. It's one thing to put the eyeshadow primer down and bring it to your brows, but I like to marry my foundation into right here so that there's not a break in your like shading and everything. And everything starts to blend together. Okay, I think I've got a pretty good coverage. It's kind of glowy, which I like because that's kind of what I've been more focused on with my foundations lately. So I am gonna go ahead and use my concealer on camera because it is the same brand. And then I'm gonna set it with my Huda Beauty setting powder. Everything else is powder from here on out. So I have my concealer in shade 120.
I wasn't so sure about the concealer only because when I first applied it, it looked very yellow. I was like, oh, there's a contrast. It blended out nice. It blended out nicely. Okay, now to finish off this eye look, I think we're gonna continue with the purples. I'm gonna take the shade Dreamer. This is gonna go the entire length underneath the eye. Just on the compacted smudge brush. To the shade Dr. Farr. This one is just gonna go outer V and then also retouch up up here. When I did this eye, I had the same thing happen when I placed everything and then blended it out. So I just think it's that shade. I don't know if you guys can hear the neighbor's kids. They're outside playing and usually they like to play soccer, which the soccer ball ends up in our yard and then Luke is behind the garage trying to like get it back for them. But I can hear them screaming, so I don't know if they're playing and like kicking the ball around. It's actually pretty nice out right now. It's 56 degrees. I have a feeling we're gonna be fishing out the soccer ball a lot this year. Now for the inner corner, I said I wanted to do a pop of neon and I kind of want to use the neon green shade. So the shade Weekend Vibes. I'm going to pick this up on my little pencil brush. This is what I always do the inner corner highlight with. I just want a pop of color. I mean, I say that as I've got this very vibrant purple, but I like it. And sometimes it's fun to have a bright neon shade in there. Is pretty and I didn't put any extra like eyeshadow primer or anything in there whatever was already on my eye is what it's adhering to that is really pretty let me know do you like the pop of neon in the inner corner would you do like neutral browns and then a neon shade All right, so I did already do my contour. It's looking crazy right now because everything's not finished. <laughs> but I do have a new bronzer. This is from REM Beauty, which is Ariana Grande's brand. So she put out the Satin Matte Bronzers. I have the shade Blazed. That's what that looks like. I think it's gonna be the right shade. We're gonna go ahead and pop it on. shade it's got it looks like I just got a slight sunburn my hair is still pulled back from work but it is a mess when I go to do my hair or do my makeup into my hairline it is a mess right now I 
think I got a pretty good shade. It's going on nicely. It's blending out beautifully. I like bringing it down my neck so it'll just kind of like fill in the lines and even everything out. Not bad. I need to fix my hair so bad, you guys. Now, Tarte recently released the, what is this? Shape Tape Glow Blush Bar. There were two different palettes. I picked up the Rose Bar. Now, looking at this, it kind of reminds me of the Hourglass. Um, actually, I decluttered the face palette that kind of has the same shape. But this is what it looks like. So you've got two blushes, a highlighter. These are in the lighter shades, so like fair to light medium-ish. When I was looking at the two shades, the one seemed a little too deep for me. So this is the one that I went with. And it's got, this peachy shade kind of gives me NARS orgasm vibes. And then kind of a pinky shade. Let's go ahead and swatch all of these. Okay. So this is supposed to be Champagne Glow, which is a highlighter. And then this is Luminous Rosy Peach and Luminous Rose. Ooh, that kind of looks like a candle lit highlighter effect. Okay, and this one's got kind of a nice lit from within glow to it. Interesting. Now I'm thinking I want to try this shade because it is the lightest. I want to see what it looks like on my skin. If I need to deepen it up, I will go into the other shade. So the middle one first. It is a very like pinky peachy shade, which I like. It is very glowy and I like it. And I like taking it up onto my temples just to give that like rosy cheeky glow. It's very pretty, subtle. I could definitely wear this to work. I kind of want to go into a deeper shade just to see. Try it out. I'm going to go in ever so slightly. Oh yeah, that's got, <laughs> that's got some color payoff. really liking this. Now I'm going to go into Champagne Glow and I need to put it on my brow bone and then of course the cheeks, nose and all that. Oh, that's pretty. I wouldn't say this highlighter is like beaming. It does give a nice glow. If you like a subtle highlight, just kind of a lit from within kind of look, that's what this is. This isn't one of those like Fenty Diamond Bombs or what is it? The Cali, Cali Ray highlighter, like where it's super beaming. That's not what this is. If you like a subtle for whatever your vibe is, it is a nice highlighter. It still like gives a good glow and the light catches it nicely. So you could still get that ethereal glow without overdoing it, where it looks like a lightning strike on your face because you just put so much highlighter. That's not this. Look at all the fingerprints. This is why I hate the metallic packaging, but I like the blushes and the highlighter. So, so we'll deal with it. It is massive. <laughs> 
for the three that are in here, this is actually quite big. And they're the baked blushes, what they look like. Yeah, so they look like they're baked blushes. And it looks like a quite a bit amount of product. But it's, a, it's, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Now, I need to fill in my brows. I'll come back because I do have the Precisely My Brow Wax that I just picked up. I need to do some liner, mascara, lips. I'll be back. Okay, so everything with the exception of the Precisely My Brow Wax is done. This I picked up in shade 3.75. <laughs> All the other benefit products that I have are in shade three. So it may or may not be the right shade. Whoops. Um, if it's not, I'll use it when I need a new shade. I'll pick that up. But 3.75 is usually, is it the warm toned? Oh yeah, it looks like it might be a little bit warmed. All right, so it says, this is Benefit's Lightweight Brow Wax is a go-to for sculpted yet natural looking brows. Delivers bold pigment with instant payoff while shaping and positioning brows precisely into place. A targeted dual-sided brush that helps color stick to skin and brows and grooms brow hairs in place. So I guess in that theory, I shouldn't have had to do this. Whoops. Well, it says pair with precisely my brow pencil, which, we filled in the brows. So I guess that would be okay, I guess. So brush through brows with short upward strokes using flat side of applicator. Sculpt with domed side. What? Okay, that's, that's interesting. Oh, okay, so if you look at the brush, this side is flat and then this one has the curve to it. Interesting, but see, I usually drag it backwards through and then it just, here goes nothing. Let's, I'm gonna go through how most people might go through. I do like mine a little more fluffy, so we'll see. Um, flat side first. And then the domed side to shape. Well, I can see like they're sticking up, they're standing up where I want them to. Whereas these ones that haven't been touched yet are already kind of like, mm, we're going to sleep. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna, it is a little bit warmer than I would usually use, but you can't really tell because I did fill them in with my brow pencil. So it's not a huge difference. If you want your brows to be like laid down and flat against your forehead, this will do that. Then again, I also do have the fluff up brow wax, which I like, but I, like I said, I drag it backwards through and then I fluff it through to have fluffy brows. But that's not everyone's vibe. Some people like them to be laid down on their forehead. Some people want them fluffy. I go back and forth. It just depends on the mood that day. Okay, I'm gonna, continue to use this maybe I'll try it again without filling in my brows and see what it looks like and then if I need to fill in in certain areas I will sometimes I do that depending on like how much time I have getting ready for work if I don't have a lot of time I will put some brow wax on I'll take a pencil and I'll flick through the holes fill it in as quickly as possible and I'm out the door um, if I have a little more time I do my brows like this where I fill them in with the pencil then I go in with my brow wax and get them to lay down how I want them to. I think today's a pretty good brow day though. So this is the final look and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm digging it. I really am enjoying, especially this eye. So it's not everyone's vibe. And I was looking at it, I was like, mm, if I wanted to do Joker for Halloween, like I've already got, I've got the palette. Cause Joker is purple with the lime green. At least if you think about like, what was it? Like back in the day, Batman? Yeah. 
but I really like this. I did have some issues with the shade Dr. Far. I could place it down, I could go and blend it out, but it was weird that it was catching on both eyes, that it was catching in the middle where it was darker here and lighter here and then darker on the outside. I don't know if that's just the shadow itself. I do want to play around with the rest of the shades and see. I do like how my eyes turned out. I really like the shimmers. This one right here is the one that I used today and it looks gorgeous. It did definitely pick up the purple that it laid down on top of, but you can still see the greens coming through, which I really like. I love a good shimmer. I love a good duochrome, triochrome, any of those like fun colors to just add a little bit of shimmer and glisten to the eyes. I'm not an all matte eye look girly. I have been looking at a couple ideas and I'm like, could I get behind that? I still like a nice shimmer. I don't know if I'll ever break that habit. I have been trying to like break the habit of the black eyeliner in the waterline. I know my previous video, you guys have been in the comments letting me know who likes the nude waterline and who doesn't. The one thing I have been doing, I will still do black on the upper waterline and nude in the bottom just to make it cohesive with the liquid liner um, so it doesn't look like a gap. That is still my preference. As for the foundation, I like how my skin looks. I'm going to try it with other primers. There are some areas like right through here. I don't know if you guys can really see it. It's kind of like cracking. So I don't know if it's the primer and I need a more hydrating primer with it. But even when I put the foundation down, it was very glowy. It, it just, it looked like second skin. Now when I went to go set it, there's some areas where it's, it looks like it's a little dry. So it wasn't falling into my line up here. It is now. Like it's starting to bunch right there. I'll try it out. I'll see. I do still love the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I love it in the under eye. So I really want I really want to love the foundation. I'll try it with different primer. I'll try it with different setting powders. See what the right mix is. Because that's the other thing. And I saw something. So when I posted on Instagram the other day. And I screenshot it. I'll have to look for it. Um, but they were talking about the primers and foundations to pair with. Like silicone primers with silicone foundations. Water-based primers with water-based foundations. I haven't gotten to that point. I didn't even realize that was a thing. So I might have to try that out in the future. But, you know, switching up your primers, switching up your powders, it definitely helps and you'll see a different payoff with those things. As for the bronzer, I like it. It's not too intense. It blended out nicely. It just kind of gave a nice sun-kissed glow on my forehead, which I appreciate. Because sometimes I go a little intense and I can't dial it back. Um, the blush palette, this is cute. I... You guys can see the reflection. Um, I don't like the packaging. We've talked about this with other like palettes and packaging. I don't like the mirror effect. If it was just me and I'm not like doing a video, who cares? But I still see all the fingerprints and it just, I don't like it. But the blush and the highlighter, I love the blushes, especially the combination. I like when I deepen it up. I'm afraid that the lighter shade, it might disappear on my skin. So maybe I did need to go into the deeper tones of the blush palette. I might look at picking it up in the future. We'll see. And then the highlighter, if you like a subtle glow, that's what this gives is just kind of like that lit from within highlight. It may not be everyone's vibe, but I'm interested to know your thoughts. Are you picking up any of these products? Are there any that I tried that you've already tried? I would like to know what you think in the comments. So definitely put that down below and we'll have that conversation. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.